Hello everyone, Big E here, playing another another part of uh, Mass Effect 3, and we're going to be doing the party. Um, this one happened to be, I guess, a DLC, because I never played it in the original game, and I didn't get the DLCs, so. Should we invite everybody? Oh, let's do Caden first, because hey, we're kind of together. Starving. What do you got? We're heading out, Caden. Well, cool. just end up back here anyway. Am I right? Trust me. Let me impress you. Oh, no, really? I usually don't do much relationships when it comes <laughs> down to, like, Mass Effect games. You want me to sit there and watch you cook? I'm just one that usually <laughs> goes for the action. Cook, you're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. <laughs> what are we having? Canadian delicacy of some sort? Uh, sure. Exactly. We have uh, beef, we have bacon, we have beer. The foods of my people. Wish me luck. You like to cook, Shepard? Roommate on Arcturus taught me. He said eating cafeteria crap 24-7 was bad for morale. <laughs> Is there anything you're bad at? Romance. Where'd you oh. learn to cook? Class is a jump zero, believe it or not. Young biotics who can't cook for themselves risk starving. Did you pass? You're burning the garlic. Nope. Sorry. Guess I'm distracted. Bye. I wonder. Dun, 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 dun. So? We have hot sauce, right? <laughs> hot sauce. This and just spicy meat butter. Why? Is it over? Well, what do you suggest? Anything better than this moment right now? <laughs> Kashwing. Well, that was kind of quick, but at least good. Does that mean that by the end of the party, uh, it will be me and Kate in bed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Might as well invite Coley at. Since Thane died earlier due to his illness, the only one that won't be in the picture for the party. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. <laughs> the counselor knew him as a hero, the Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms, and others as a father devoted to his son. At least at the end. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through war-torn streets to reach me, because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin. A professional criminal. Gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, <laughs> I'd be a nervous wreck. Yeah, he Thane does remember kept everything. It under control. Every single little detail. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. Hmm. We covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Hmm. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. 
They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Dane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. Yeah. <laughs> was masking a great effort. Dane was turning his life around. Did he having humor? The day Thane That's like the Data having humor. All Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... little. I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. Hmm. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Hmm. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. He was one of us. Yes. He did not have many friends. The Normandy was... good for him. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. About what? She is feeling grateful. And I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. <laughs> it's all right, Commander. Counselor Ashiel could use some good press right now. This is the right time for such a favor. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions. And I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Hmm. So it's in messages? Oh, it's upstairs. It looked like it was upstairs. Which makes sense. Yeah, I think I remember the videos. Oh, here we go. Probably. First message. <laughs> <coughs> Tasha Yar. No. I suppose I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyat. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. <laughs> it seemed very dramatic at the time. But in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. sent a message back I didn't get it I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted the irony is I am a danger to no one these days I am even paying tax 
taxes on my investments. I can't expect Polyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Light the shade of her eyes. Trill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground, see two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, <laughs> we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico, and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Colyot has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital. But it's where the doctors are. And Colyot. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. Hmm. Aww. <laughs> Now for the real party. I just invite everybody. <laughs> Everybody's invited. What? These aren't invited. Invite all, oh, I think. Let's see here. I might as well do them all. Here we go. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Quiet for now. Let's keep things relaxed. Certainly, Commander. I'll ensure music remains at an appropriate volume and arrange for some refreshments. <laughs> I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. <laughs> His appearance. It's just with a bow tie. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. <laughs> nice drink. Hey, you got a long way to go to catch up. Nah, I just got this when I lost my squad a few years ago. Hey, what's the story behind that? And how far down does it go? <laughs> Tactful, as always. What? I'm just wondering. I like tattoos. <laughs> hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? great so far this is really nice it's great quiet after the excitement of the mission it's a good quiet right but if it got a little crazier I'd be okay with that relax the night is young I like it like this you got a boss I'm just happy to be kicking back <laughs> can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one. <laughs> or the air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. So, Shepard, keeping the hard liquor under lock and key? Otherwise, I'd have to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait. What? 
Who? Trainer, <laughs> you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Boss Normandy. Even I get confused by Quarian names sometimes. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. <laughs> that we have. Indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. <laughs> it's like at least three of them, right? This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends, I'm glad we could do this. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not Neither much am I. Big parties. Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. Oh, some come on. Emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me guess. You already had it all. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Here, I'm missing one. Another fun one. Let's see, there's the bow tie. Hmm. You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. I'm sure they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? It was a brick wall. Now how about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I that believe the expression is kissing babies. I know what I said. <laughs> you know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when Jacob was in charge. Excuse me? What? What specific time period are you referring to, Jeff? Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. And at least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Are you trying to follow me, hey, Kasumi? Okay, Kasumi? True. However, Cerberus did successfully revive Shepard from a near-death state. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, <laughs> crap. <laughs> You people watching tonight, Edie? Participant observation. That sounds less friendly. It's actually quite the opposite. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. Huh? You bet I will. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's see up here. Ah. Uh, hmm? Protean gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gathering All the, uh, I go to. Combat people. Yeah. To Krogan, Krogan Promethean, and of course Zaid. Zaid. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. <laughs> so who's strongest? You or the tank break? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. what I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. 
You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pijack here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. <laughs> we should leave these two lovebirds alone. Let's not. I'd rather not buy new furniture. In my cycle, no, it too is many fine. people in one room risk a high casualty rate of attack. We should all be careful. Okay. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? Time to have Beware. fun. Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish <laughs> primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. <laughs> Reminds me of Cora's den. I haven't been back there in a while. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. What kind of music is this? Now, it's not that club crap, is it? <laughs> not yet. It'll be later, though. What, you got nothing to say, Zay? What? No one here? What? Huh? I don't think anyone would be in the bedroom. Okay, where's Caden? Was he with them? I can't remember. Hmm. <laughs> okay, walking around. Wow. Okay, Caden this was is there. The Seriously. You see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place? <laughs> in my dreams, I have a place just like this, overlooking the Pacific. I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. Hey, James. Yeah, it's fun? too big for me, my I'm little old me. For fun? I think my kindergarten graduation is more fun than this. Very funny. No worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? Go ahead and check it out there. Oh. So, where'd you propose? I haven't yet. Seriously? I want to do it right. Not on some backwater rock planet with some ring pumped out of a fabricator. My plan is, Shepard gets me and Bryn into the council chambers. We do a picnic under the cherry blossoms. Then comes the question. <laughs> I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there. Of course, it's only the three of them that had all three Shepard always mass effects. Yes, a history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. By that measure, Shepard would have made a good Justicar. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope she took a shower because my filter needs replacing and humans <laughs> carry a lot of germs. <laughs> Three years later, you're eating her food. I'd call that progress. <laughs> One more round and then we'll change the music up. A hundred Vulture. Sure. Better if I could shoot some kind of death ray out of my bad eye here. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, what's the history of that bad eye there? I mean, he kind of makes me think of Cable for some reason from so the x right? Do you ever get hassled for being a real deal AI? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and the simple fuck? interaction simulations. <laughs> I asked directions from that bot on the way here. Hey, Shem. Okay. Your guests appear to be enjoying this relaxed atmosphere. Would you like me to keep everything at its current intensity? I think it's time to turn things up a bit. 
I will arrange for up-tempo music and additional cocktails right away, Commander. Gotta be a good hostess. Probably should have changed what I was wearing, but oh well. Hang out with guests, of course. What's it hang? How's it hanging, man? And Worst here we go. To get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, like bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tariq. Garden world? Yes, D but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tariq and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes long. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters <laughs> that'll rip your guts out. Uh, well, yeah, we saw one. In the Kodiak, I'll have my arms a real biggie. Bring on the wildlife. Hey guys, talking shop? No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot? That's no good. I mean, what if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. <laughs> Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Uh oh, testosterone so event. Range time will fix you up, right, Commander? <laughs> you are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Well, yeah, what's this kind of uh, kind of game? Yeah. Like a collector attack. The bridge can get dangerous. Hey, they totally proved my point. If I'd fired off a shot, then I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. Take that away, you got nothing. It still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted. Or hungover. Hungover is the perfect time to train. <laughs> Makes you angry at every loud noise. Cortez, you're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you gotta match me shot for shot. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not a good dancer. Everybody knows that. Oh, I really need to avoid dairy. <laughs> I... Sweetheart, we never really talked about it, but you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well... Yeah, one's for justice, one is looking. not so much. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. He You're was, was the lazy. Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, I like do the I. Way the colors blend and the depth of the. Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy. <laughs> like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. Huh. You are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. Yeah, I'm not so sure entirely. Makes me think of the Citadel and having some kind of armor on at the time, like a tech armor. Okay, no one's actually in here. Why not? Hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. <laughs> You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. 
shit. No, you got three biotic, well, four biotics sure of no me, my character, Not yet. versus one guy. <sighs> Only a little. Maybe. I'm just saying. <sighs> yeah, I guess Jacob's is. a bit biotic too. Caden I mean, and Jacob are kind of similar. Check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. <laughs> okay, you work for it. I get that. I mean it. Check me out. Really? Is there more to your argument? Come on so in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. Great idea. <laughs> Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Commander, just listen. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? I wouldn't call my biotics unpredictable. I don't think the Reapers would either. A person can improve their physique, but biotics... They are what they are. And what about our yeah. poor friends stuck with flawed implants? Wait, what? You're not talking about me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I may be L2, but I've worked very hard. And now I can read. Really? That's... no. Really? Huh. That's a bit strange. Okay, okay. Maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Baker. Right, Jack. Hey, Liara. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Wait. We're still talking about combat, right? Hilarious. <laughs> Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> uh, goddess. <laughs> Kasumi. Of course I'm going to support biotics, because I'm a biotic. A Biotics win hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> yeah, well, some, some. Uh, Jack okay. would say that. More drinks? Snacks? Probably in a worse way, though. <laughs> Of course, Caden. Hey, <laughs> need me to do anything? Uh, food run, change the music, check on ice. I need you to relax and have a good time. Okay, you're the boss. Except when you're not. And, uh, in that case, find me later. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Evie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh no. Should I find somewhere else to be? <laughs> no, 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 I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive corps? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. <laughs> oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? So true. Tolly, please stop helping. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, Pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just <laughs> joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herb dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. 
I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, oh good lord. <laughs> Wait, this is duck throat cheese, right? Kira, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair's fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in certain sheets. <laughs> oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program. So I don't die. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward. Awkward. <laughs> the personalities here are just so awesome. Here's the thing, beautiful. I've had a few drinks. You've had a few drinks. <laughs> I haven't. Right. Still, what do you say that we sit by that fireplace and snuggle? You've never struck me as the snuggling type. Even a ruthless killer's got to have a soft side. And I can see from here you definitely have a soft side. <laughs> Come on. No. Well, that's <laughs> clear enough. <laughs> You're in for a rough time, Moreau. Vega and I are neck and neck when it comes to holding liquor. Oh, yeah? Here we go. Shot one. Oh, what the hell is that? Tastes like the north end of a southbound goat. Bad move, Cortez. He wanted the duel, and he also picked the weapon. I brought my own bats, bro. Three parts horse choker and one part antiseptic mouthwash. That's not even a drink. And yet, here are our second shots. Unless you want to give up? That is all over. I'm gonna find a gun and let out a few rounds off. I am sober enough. I will join you. Have fun. Try not to kill the neighbors. Cortez. <sighs> Give me your damn horse choker. Mother of God, you are going no <laughs> I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. <laughs> See that? Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really. No. Get lost. <laughs> No. Can I try that? Sure. <laughs> Press this button and say no. <laughs> uh, no. Great work. <laughs> no. It's kind of like I don't even know those guys, so no. Keep up the good work. This is just Will Normandy do. party. I if I don't know you, you, you no. ain't invited. Yes. Shepard, thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. I've had lots to drink. And look at me. Still standing. <laughs> Ever seen a Krogan drink so much they get sick on your floor? I'm here to make sure that dream comes true. Uh, I think I Rex did, probably. With my mind. <laughs> you guys... I love you guys. No, no, listen, okay? No, no really. Okay? <laughs> okay, anything else? Nope. Nothing going on here. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. Bounce? 
We're we're not playing basketball. <laughs> yes, indeed. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? It's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's <laughs> cheating. Oh my god, bribery? From Edie? So he won't <laughs> dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. He will not. Well, I will. <laughs> Want me to slap you, silly man? I mean. <laughs> Alrighty then. You done? Seriously though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with her. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously. Ugh. Fine. Everyone dances the same way. Okay, not everybody. You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. <clears throat> the way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I found company, dog legs. Till then, watch and learn. She's not really on, totally on her leg, though. She's on her knees. <laughs> Captain on deck! Has she always been like this? Shepard is saving the galaxy! You have to forgive a few <laughs> It's very enthusiastic. <laughs> it is impressive. We should record this. And broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you for all your loyalty and support. <laughs> really? Oh, dear. You have them Taking a wild guess here, yeah, Shepard. But whatever you're serving is. Starting to kick in. Has Leo always been so blue? here. Shepard! Found something to shoot. Yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> it's okay. We're all professionals here. Some of us with no depth perception, but it's fine. Don't worry. This happens at Krogan parties all the time. And yet I'm still not comforted. Probably best I walk away now. As you wish. <laughs> Dancing is often considered pleasurable, Jeff. Well, not for me. Perhaps you've just never found the right partner. Seems, Jeff, you pretty much dance like me. Wow! <laughs> no. Could not. Could you? I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could. But do you have the cojones to actually do it? 
Any of them. What a guy. Buckle up, brother. Balls? <laughs> you got it, Vega. Shepard. What's up? Just proving a point. I think James has a newfound respect for biotics. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I could feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kind of. Among other things. You're being so gentle, Liara. <laughs> Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. Okay. Nothing else? Okay. Not even Caden? Really? Wait a minute, is anyone actually in here? Oh! <laughs> oh shit. Grant? You okay? What? Yeah. I got my credits. Excellent. Go back to sleep. And an actual workable mirror. Not every place has a mirror. James have a hard time with mirrors. Anyone in here? No? No. Shepard? Let's go ahead, it looks like. Okay, where is... Hello, Commander. Would you care for a memento of this evening, Commander? My surveillance systems include state-of-the-art cameras. Heck yeah! Please gather everyone by the living room couch if you are ready. Guess we'll go near the couch. Are you having fun? Hey, everyone! Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way! Make way! Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay, everyone say Normandy. Normandy. <laughs> <laughs> and then the morning after. First time I played this, for some strange reason, I had Javik. I'm pretty much expecting to have Kate. Oh, yep. good night. Now look who's here. Mm. Good morning. Uh, is it morning? It is. It'd be so nice to lie here all day with you. Let's see if anyone else is up. <laughs> Investigate the aftermath. <laughs> Team Spirit. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. The apartment seems so quiet now. The apartment seems so quiet now. Did we uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe I should just stop saying that word. But only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. 
Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Liara takes forever to do her uh, hair or whatever she calls it. <laughs> now let's see what else is around here. Oh. Shepard, good morning. I want to thank you for inviting me here. It was good to see everyone again. I hope you enjoyed your evening as well. Uh. I am going to die. Jeez. I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. <laughs> Do I have a tattoo? I remember something about a tattoo. Um. Don't get me wrong. Great party, but uh, yeah, I'll just be here, right here, forever. Uh. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> that figures. Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? 1085, 1086, 1087. Really? Shepard. Hey, you look like shit. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Even normal biotics get hangovers, but I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Hey. <laughs> I think I broke my head on something last night. <laughs> the shower, the maybe? The bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. Shepard. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Caden, here's some eggs to go with that coffee. Rex, buddy, eggs? Tally? Ah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javid, man, you gotta I try don't know. eggs. Anyone else? Probably Harris. just needs coffee. You know my eggs. Shepard, eggs? Now oh, that was a great time. There's coffee. Who wants coffee? I want coffee. More coffee? Am I being too loud? <laughs> I think you had a little too much coffee. <laughs> oh, morning, Shepard. I hope you slept well. Oh, I Barely. All those tequila no. shots with James would have prepared me for last night. What a night. Wish it never ended. Thanks, Shepard. <laughs> Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. <laughs> By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? <laughs> Shepard? Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. What? That was a joke. That was not a good joke, I Edie. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. If I didn't know any better, you're like HK-47. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. Star Wars coder. So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just just think quiet thoughts. Ugh. Still fun though. 
Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next morning. Huh. <laughs> and there's the picture. Is anyone up there? Nope. Alright. Alright, folks. Pretty much the party is done. And, uh, pretty much there shouldn't be too much left, so everyone take care. Um, I'm commonly going to be doing uh, another round. It's going to be, I believe, Aria's DLC. Uh, which, of course, is a big one, so that might take a couple of hours or so. So, take care, everybody.